Dear students, this is Dipti Sir for you and today we are going to study an important English lesson of 9th class that is the Missile Man of India. Uh, when you think about the great persons of India, some names may come to your mind like Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Subhash Chandra Bose, Sardar Balabhai Patel, M.S. Swaminathan, isn't it? So exactly when I tell you who is the missile man of India, so unanimously you can answer he is none other than Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. So let's start. Abul Pakir Jainul Abdin Abdul Kalam. So this is the uh, long name of Dr. Kalam. Better known as Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam was one of the most distinguished scientists of India. So we all know that he is one of the most distinguished means highly admired, famous, popular scientist of India. As he was intimately, students hear one line, one of the most distinguished scientists you have to write, one of the most distinguished scientists, understand? Scientist manako bhitaru jane. Huh? Scientist janako bhitaru no. Scientist manako bhitaru jane. So one of the most distinguished scientist. You have to write like that. As he was intimately involved in India's civilian space program. Intimately involved means very closely involved. With Indian, <coughs> India's civilian space program. So civilian means uh, made uh, for non-defense purpose. Hmm. And... Uh, military missile development program so for civilian space program he is linked and also he is linked with military missile development efforts means the missiles those are developed for defense purpose or military purpose he came to be known as the missile man of india in 2002 he was elected as the 11th president of india and he was widely referred to as the people's president. So when we call somebody as people's president, okay, that shows that that person must be highly admired by people. That person uh, must be highly influencing the people of a country. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam was born on 15th October 1931 in a Tamil Muslim family at Rameswaram in the state of Tamil Nadu. So you all know Tamil Nadu is one South Indian state. Okay. Uh, located towards the southernmost part of India. So there is a place Rameswaram. And uh, there in a Tamil Muslim family he got birth. His father Jainul Abedin. So Jainul Abedin is the name of Kalam's father. He was a boat owner. And uh, the Imam of a local mosque. Imam means students, uh, somebody who leads a prayer in a mosque. So he is known as Imam. Like uh, you tell about father uh, in a uh, church. Uh, so that is like Imam of a local mosque. Mosque is the religious place. In Odia you call it Masjid. But in English it is mosque, the religious place where Muslims uh, uh, go and offer their prayer to Allah. His mother Asiyama was a housewife. So Asiyama is, uh, was the mother of Kalam. He was a housewife. You can use the word homemaker for housewife. Uh, his father owned a ferry that took Hindu pilgrims back and forth between Rameswaram and Dhanuskodi. So these two places, Rameswaram and Dhanuskodi. His father who owned a ferry, ferry means a small boat which carries people and uh, he was taking Hindu pilgrims. Pilgrims means those who go to visit religious places, okay, for uh, their spiritual uh, uh, upliftment. Tirtha Jatri, whom you call in Odia. Kalam was the youngest of four brothers and one sister in his family. So in his family, there are five children and Kalam was the youngest son. His ancestors had been wealthy traders, the wealthy businessmen, his ancestors, his forefathers. They were wealthy, very rich businessmen, but landowners also. 
and but in course of time but over time what happened the family fell on hard times and lost their properties hard times means student difficult times so they went through very difficult times and lost their properties even their ancestral home and they lost their ancestral home by his early childhood the family had already become poor so by the time kalam uh, recount something recollect something from his childhood memories they had already become poor kalam had to sell newspapers to supplement his family's income so in his childhood he had to sell newspapers to supplement to add to his family's income because they were earning very less uh, kalam's poem uh, students you must have gone through that book my wings uh, wings of fire okay wings of fire in that uh, that is the autobiography of kalam part 1 part 2 is turning point so in wings of fire the preface to as a preface to that book kalam has written a beautiful poem my mother so there you can understand everything is uh, written regarding a childhood so thank you for watching